Hey guys, Chris here with Cody's Friendship Unit. I am with Brian. What's going on? And Jeremy. Hey, what's up? And uh, today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation Classic. But real quick, uh, if you guys have any thoughts on the PlayStation Classic, throw them down below. If you like the video, throw us a like. If you love us, sub us. A sub will enter you for a chance to win some tasty Steam codes. Uh, I guess I'm going to give a 30 second rundown on what the PS Classic is, and then we're going to talk about it. So, it is a 45% volume smaller package that looks just like a PlayStation 1 compared to the original PlayStation 1. It comes with two PlayStation 1 controllers. They're USB controllers, but the shell is the same. Uh, it's not the DualShock controller, just the regular old launch PS1 controller. It's going to ship with 20 games. Uh, it's going to retail for 99 US dollars, and it does not include a uh, power strip or power USB box. Not that those are hard to find, just throwing it out there. And for reference, the SNES Classic was $80 for 21 games, and the NES Classic was $60 for 30 games, albeit uh, only one controller, and obviously those games are much, much older than PS1 games. So, uh, so, here we are. But hold on, the, the first big question I have is, it has no disk drive, correct? Nope, this is no online functionality, it's gonna be the same idea with Nintendo. No, I mean a disc, games. Nope. A, there's nothing, it's just what you no. get in the box. No, the, yeah. the button, uh, the open button, for you uh, PS1 enthusiasts, that will do a digital disc swap. So it, it, I assume it's gonna open yeah. a UI and let you pick another ROM. But I guess uh, the last thing we should mention is the five games uh, currently announced out of the 20 are Final Fantasy VII Tekken 3, R4 Ridge Racer Type 4, Jumping Flash, Wild Arms, and 15 to come. I mean, I don't know anything about any of those games because I don't. Like, well, Final Fantasy VII's big. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, I know people are really into those and like the fighting games. And that's like kind that's of the, the PlayStation way. thing. I think it's a good schmearing. Like, yeah. I guess yeah. Let's fuck it. Let's talk about what we have going on right now with with the games. I think that's that for the five games they showed. They showed a variety of genres. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like... They have an RPG, Ridge, a racing game, fighting game. Yeah, it's like a broad section. And I mean, that's usually what they go for on stuff like this. Yeah. But the big problem I have with it is the price tag and the fact that you can't... Do put, anything. Yeah, you can't do... Like, 90 bucks for... 100, 100 bucks for 20 games, some of which you're not going to want to play. Because you're not going to like. Right. I mean, the USB controllers are kind of nice because the PlayStation has always been emulated. So, like, now you can just, if you have a PS1 emulator, you can just plug it into your computer and play with those. Though notably, like, the, the, these don't have, as Chris said, they're not DualShock, so they don't have analog sticks. Yeah, they, they just not. have a D-pad. Yes, yeah, so you can only play the really older ones. Well, yeah. I, so I don't think... I could be there. There are not. There are surprisingly few games that require the DualShock controller. Yeah. Um, if any, really, I'm not. Sh oh, I think Monkey Island or no, Ape no. Escape. Ape Escape. You, yeah. That 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 required it. Confusing our monkey games. Gee, whoa, well, that yeah. was a close one. Oh my god. But it is still pretty garbage to be playing. Oh yeah, like Metal Gear 3D Solid games with uh like, with the D no, and stuff. Yeah, it didn't I mean, seem tough in 1999 when I had my PlayStation PlayStation One, but it's not too fun to revisit. Yeah, the 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 early 3D games don't age well. Like I never yeah. like okay. what Mario yeah. 64 looked like. Like like the SNES games on the SNES Classic are gonna probably play much better than these games. And yeah, my, probably. Yeah. Probably because emulators always. If two D side scrolling is your jam, yeah. Well, so I and I don't know. Going back to the controller, I like so. Crash Bandicoot is like, uh, hopefully it comes on here. It's it's definitely mm -hmm. worth coming on here. They did a surprisingly good job of uh, mapping that game to the to the original DualShock. I mean, I, I've only played the remastering, but. 
I uh, the remastering I actually played on a D-pad after I, a little bit on the joystick. I switched back wow. to the D-pad because I was like, oh, it's much much more intuitive to do, even though it's th a large portion of it's 3D. Yeah, but you're really only moving in the two dimensions. Like it's 3D visually, but you're not really moving diagonally in the game, unless I'm misremembering. Uh, no, I? there's like so there's there's the depth levels. And then there's like the there's like side scrolling levels with depth, and then there's levels where you it, it's kind of like tumble run, where like you you kind of right. go straight, and then there's some variation right or left. But yeah, my point is like exactly. it, it it's not like a lot of these games were kind of designed with this controller in mind. Yeah, uh, for sure. Well, and um, Crash is exceptionally well designed. It, doesn't it have a reputation for being really? Yeah, like, kind of. Too bad well, it's not announced yet. <laughs> well, I would expect that 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 would be because yeah. that's going to drive sales up. I mean, that's I... The, that's the thing. Like, uh, this is this is Sony's first console, so they it's not like Nintendo coming out with the SNES where they had all these like first party games. They're gonna have to license out a lot of these. Like, they're gonna have to get Metal Gear, which hopefully they can get. They're gonna have to get. I mean, they got Final Fantasy. They're gonna have to get uh, Crash and Spyro. Those are Activision owned now. Uh, I don't know. I think that well, they're gonna rely on third parties a lot. The the one light at the end of the tunnel might be, you know, the depending on what the hardware is and how it's set up. Like this could have been kind of contracted out not contracted out but given to like a low budget like let's make something flashy for the christmas season type yeah. department and if like it's the just, things right like a really internally like outside it's flashy and that's where they spent the money and internally it's just some proprietary version of android with a micro sd card and Depending on how they've set that up, you might be able to get in there reasonably easily. I would expect that you probably can't, but that's way beyond my skill level anyway. Um, I mean, they got into but, the NES and SNES. So. Well, I mean, like people will be able to get in, but it's it's a question of how easy will it be to get in. Like, is it easy? Is it open it up with a screwdriver and scrape off this like sticker? and the slot's right under there, or is it you have to go digging and you have to solder and all this different stuff? Yeah. Um, like, people will be able to hack this, and people will certainly hack them to take, you know, a, a outside SD card with, with ROMs on it. I was just going to say the, the controller ports are USB, so... <laughs> well, you don't, know, you don't know how much that, like, talks. Yeah, but there's a you chance... <laughs> There's a chance. Yeah. There's a chance, but I would I would be surprised if there wasn't some sort of micro SD card on this with the the ROMs loaded on it. Even if it's covered up with some black goo, so you can't see it, like they do when they make electronics. Yeah. Like I, I would be willing to bet that that's the type of architecture that they're running on this, just from having taken a bunch of shit apart. But. Jeremy, you, uh, you're the only one of us that had a PS1. Has, I did. Currently has. Have. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm looking at it. <laughs> uh, what do you think of this? Um, I have two reactions to three reactions. My first reaction is that I had a PS1 when I was, like, five. So what I was playing at the time is definitely different than what you're going to see, like, included. So my experience is, you know not representative of like what people will be looking for in the console or like what were necessarily the best games. Like I played a lot of fucking Spyro. I fucking love Spyro. Um, secondly, um, I, I think it's a, like, there's, there seems to be a lot of criticism of the PlayStation classic that was not forthcoming about the Nintendo classic, which I think is kind of bullshit. And I think kind of just is, you know, demonstrative of the Nintendo nostalgia industry. You mean that they took um, the name? <clears throat> like the classic no, name? No, give a fuck about the name. No, no, no. So the the SNES classic you said was $80, yeah? Yeah. And this is $100, so it is more. Um, but for the same number of games, 20 versus 21. Yeah. Well, um, and, and these are like a generation later. Like the N64 They're a little, they're classic. more recent. Yeah. 
and it comes with another controller. Well, the and... SNES came with two. Okay, sure. Um, but they're, but I they're also usable think... with something else, too. What's up? They're, they're USB controllers, so that's like... Yeah. Well, you can use the SNES ones with, like, Wii stuff. Like, you can use it on... Yeah, but you can't plug it in your PC. No. Well, you could, you could, but you need an adapter. But yeah, you could. So, and then, uh, like, uh, place Sony also is a manufacturer um, on a much bigger scale than Nintendo is. Um, unless Nintendo was deliberately, like, restricting supply to drive demand on their previous classic consoles, which I think is pretty possible... Uh, I don't think that these will be difficult to get, so I don't think there will be the same resale market. There also is the same nostalgia market. So, like, people were buying uh, NES Classics for $100. They just, Nintendo wasn't getting that money. So, I think Sony is just saying, like, okay, people pay $100, we think. Um, so, let's do that. Like, yeah, none of these yeah. prices are really related to cost. This is a pure cash cow for them. And it seems really similar to what was going on with the... Um, the SNES Classic, and I've already read a few articles just, you know, since we decided to cover this, uh, about people complaining about, like, oh, you won't be able to do online. Oh, they should have included an ability to, like, play disc games that you had from the PlayStation, etc., etc. Like, people didn't ask for those things with the SNES Classic. Uh, people asked for online. Well, not less online and more, like, the potential to get more games in online would be the easiest route for that. Maybe, but like the the general reaction I've seen, at least so far for this, has been like bitching, and that was it. Didn't seem like that was the reaction to the the SNES. Yeah, um, I mean, I I I think the hundred dollars is probably the biggest complaint. That's like it's like for me, it's like so. I imagine that I could be wrong. I'm guessing these cost like ten dollars for them to build, and then there's yeah. like licensing fees that have to be accounted for. So like what maybe fifteen dollars a unit or whatever. At the end of the day. That's just a total guess. I could be entirely wrong, but it's just plastic with no, a really shitty processor. Um, Got to be in the ballpark. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, from that perspective, it's just like, why didn't you throw in a power cable? Like, what the fuck? I don't like, know, because they're like, fuck you. That's why. I know. I do, they should have had a power cable. They should like, throw, I, yeah. I do think that's like so that's So, yeah, like if they had the power, I don't know why it's for me it's a power cable, but if they threw in the power cable, I would be like, Okay, yeah, this is this is fine, and it's not that it's not fine. I'm just like that's just like irksome to me, I guess. No, it it's definitely silly. Cause it's cool. like it's not like you guys are you know oh we we had to we had to cut the power cable we just got it under a hundred dollars for you guys like no that's not what fucking happened. Yeah, and and you know from your previous uh, you know uh, professional experience that cables are not expensive to manufacture. Yeah. Also, like I I don't know like maybe... literally like pennies right yeah and maybe i'm being like weird about it but i know at least with my raspberry pi i haven't experimented with my classic consoles but with a raspberry pi i occasionally had issues powering it depending on what random uh usb brick i had lying around yeah you have to look at that. like and i i would just it would suck just as a consumer for for sony to sell this you know nice product it does look like a pretty nice product cool product and have someone take it home and not really understand what's going on and you know, use their lowest volt or lowest uh, lowest powered uh, iPhone brick, and it, it like the games don't work or, or it doesn't power right or it flickers or something weird happens. You know, I feel like they would want to control that experience, but I guess they don't. Well, the other thing I think that <clears throat> part of the reason for the the backlash against it is what Jay said with the the nostalgia market. They don't have it. Like the they don't have it certainly to the same extent. No, they they sure, don't sure. have they don't have the IP control. They don't have the the, the library that Nintendo has, and like th those are classic games that people remember playing. That you know, if you had a Nintendo, and a lot of people did, those were the games that you probably had on it. But if you had a PlayStation, you know, it, you probably had third party titles, and those are probably the ones that you remember. The best because there were a lot of good third-party titles for the PlayStation. Primarily, it was good third-party titles, which is the whole problem with the licensing fees and all that. But it doesn't give you the same sort of attachment to the console and the games that you have with Nintendo. And the other thing, I, this I don't know that I would necessarily want to give this to a six-year-old kid. 
where like the Super Nintendo is like it's fine. It, they're like, but you know, Metal Gear is kind of violent and like this fighting game. It was it's, rated it's, M at the time. I don't know. Right. Probably still but I mean, it's it's not anything like like now and yeah. But I mean, it's the, all like the the graphics the are so fucking are bad, bad that like you can <laughs> yeah. But there's some rises. You know, it, like, the Nintendo is, it, it's always had the family sort of appeal, and I know that for some people, that would be a real problem, that there was games where you could shoot people, that you were going to give that to little Jimmy on Christmas. Where the Nintendo, it's just, it's Mario, or, you know, you're playing Zelda, or, or maybe Punch-Out at the worst, right? So yeah. it's it's not really as offensive to a lot of people. The, the PlayStation, I feel like, was always kind of intended for an older audience. Yeah, it was. Like, it was marketed that way. It was so, marketed for people who weren't little bitches, which is why I got one. Exactly. Because I was cool. Because he was. Jeremy is not a little bitch. <laughs> I was blowing people away on my fucking PlayStation. I mean, I have a Game Boy, so there you go. There you go. But, <laughs> um, but they're, they're, they're trying to pull on a market that they just don't have. And I think they're looking at the success that Nintendo has had with their mini systems or classic systems, whatever you want to call them. Um, <clears throat> and they're saying, oh, we could do that too, because, you know, we had a great system back in the day, and, you know, the PlayStation was on top for a while, and it's just not the same thing. And yeah. that's, I, I don't. I don't know that it's really going to be popular as a, it might be popular with hackers if it turns out to be easy to hack, but I don't know that it's necessarily going to be popular as a gift. It's like they don't you don't see them coming out with with Betamax classic with all your favorite <laughs> 80s movies. I see what you mean. I, <laughs> yeah, I, you know? I mean I think don't they have that out, I think they have that audience is just not as big. But I think it, well, it's not it as exists. old. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, like, that's the heyday awesome. of the PlayStation was, like, 1996. Yeah. You know what I mean, 1997. Yeah. So, like, people who were, like, 12 in 1997 are, ago. like, yeah, they're, like, 30, 30-ish 30 now. Like, yeah. 35. They're just not as nostalgic for, like, oh, I remember when I was 10 and I played my, you know, I'm 50 or 45 now and I played my Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh. Like, they're, like, you know, doing 30-year-old shit. Yeah, well, they, the, the, they, Sony and people also, our age like aren't as influenced by those thirty-five-year-olds, whereas like people who are forty and fifty are like tastemakers. They write yeah. for a lot of outlets and they jerk off over Nintendo. And just just in general, Nintendo is very um, collectible. At in general, like they have a lot of things that are collectible because of their brand. And I I don't think Sony has a big like collectible front. If you, if that makes any sense, like. People are Nintendo collectors. I don't know a whole yeah. lot of Sony collectors. No. Uh, so yeah. I think that might hurt it. But um, yeah. I, I want to do one quick go around of uh, it can be any number, doesn't have to be any, but any games because there's 15 that are yet to be decided. Uh, any games that you want added, and if you're gonna buy one or even have any inkling of buying one, uh, I guess I'll start. Uh, I would like to see. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, <laughs> that'd be a trip to play um, with the original PlayStation 1 controller and all that. I would like to see Resident Evil. Uh, That's just, a good one. Just because it's like, it, it, it's probably such a fucking joke now. Uh, I would like to see Castlevania Symphony of the Night and uh, Crash. From that, that that's for me. Uh, I'm probably not gonna pick it if if the if they announce a lot of like killer games, like if they just kill this library. I'll pick one up. Uh, I have my other classic sitting on my desk right now, and it's really nice to just switch inputs and flip on one of those for a while. Otherwise, I'm I'm not gonna a hundred bucks is a lot. I'm not gonna pick one up. I have absolutely no interest in it. Um, I never had a PlayStation. I have no nostalgia for the games. I have no nostalgia for the system. A um, hundred bucks is way too much. Uh, I want to see Crash would be cool, I guess, <clears throat> but I think that that'll probably be on there if they're if they're smart and uh, definitely Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> that's a that's a throwback jam right there. 
there was some recent Parappa, the Rappa news, like recently. I don't remember exactly what it was, whether it was a remake or something, but I, I had been reading about Parappa, the Rappa, not too long ago. Uh, I will also not be picking one up. I am not interested in these classic consoles in general, and as previously stated, I do have a PlayStation 1. Um, Ooh, he's got the guy. OG. I got, the, got OG the OG push. Yeah. Um, I would reiterate, I, th I think Spyro is a great title. I'm, I miss Spyro. I, I wish Spyro would be on there. Um, I would think, uh, like, they said, quote, what they said was genre-defining. Like, I kind of think Driver, but, like, obviously without the really bad intro. Like, mm. I have Driver. That was a really genre-defining driving game. Um, so, yeah. All right. Alex, that's, that, sounds, that sounds like a pretty or, good... Rap. Or maybe another classic PlayStation game from my childhood, Animaniacs Bowling. Or Croc, the legend. Or Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Um, cool. Nice. I think we, uh, I think we nailed it. Uh, do you want to uh, tell the people what to do, Brian? Well, if, uh, if you'd rather fall face first into a river of grease than buy a PlayStation mini classic whatever the fuck it's called uh, go ahead and hammer that on down in the word box and uh like chris said if you if you sub to our channel here you uh you might win a dank steam code so go ahead and click that sub button and while you're at it click the ringy diggy in the top right hand corner so you get continuously updated with all of the continuously cohesive shit we're doing here on the continuously cohesive cohesive friendship unit channel uh what am i forget oh yeah smoke them if you got them guys that's all for me today chris thank you brian catch you guys next time